I'm Brian McLaren. Thanks for being part of this quest for a new kind of Christianity. Okay, we're up with question number one. What is the shape of the biblical narrative? I call it the narrative question. What's the plot line or the narrative arc of the Bible? Now you start off, and I gotta tell you, you rattled my cage from the very beginning. Well, I, this is a deep question, and I, 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 it's kind of, I know that I'm, I'm treading on some very uh, sensitive areas with this. Yeah. Now, people go, oh, here comes Brian McLaren. He started a whole new thing. But you're deeply rooted with some of this. Talk well, to me. Well, actually, this really derives from me being a pastor for 24 years, working with the Bible for sermons a couple times every week. And I always had the feeling that we had an alien narrative that we snipped pieces from the Bible and stuck on somebody else's narrative. And so this question really said, asks us to rediscover what the real narrative of the Bible is, the Jewish narrative into which Jesus comes. Now the question, the narrative, Where's the beginning? Yeah, you know? uh, I think our problem is we have not started with the Jewish story that the Bible starts with. We've started with a story that we actually imported mm -hmm. from Greek philosophy and Roman politics. I call it the Greco-Roman narrative. Mm -hmm. And I think what we've done is cut and snipped and pasted verses from the Bible around an alien narrative. We got to get our narrative back. Mm -hmm. Now, when I go my family tree, I start with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the problem. We're starting with the present and looking back. So uh, what I'm suggesting we've got to do is go back to the beginning and look forward. Um, I, I can show you. Yeah, yeah I'll see. Um, so let's say, um, uh, you know, here is, here is uh, Jesus. And then I don't actually see Jesus. I see Paul's view of Jesus. Yeah. But I don't actually see Paul's view of Jesus. I see Augustine's view of Paul's view of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then I see Aquinas' view of Augustine's view of Paul's. And then I see Luther's view. And then I see, you know, John Wesley's view or John Calvin's view or yeah. Benny Hinn's view yeah, yeah. or, uh, you know, whatever. And I look back through this line of sight back to Jesus. And what I'm recommending is that we, that we take, uh, I'm not recommending we forget all that. No. But I'm recommending we start at a different place. What if instead we say, here's Jesus, let's go back and start with Abraham. Mm -hmm. um, what's the story that unfolds from Abraham? Into that story comes Moses. And into that story comes David. And into that story comes the prophets. And into that story comes John the Baptist. And into that unfolding story comes Jesus. Mm -hmm. And if we try to put Jesus in his native environment, we have a very different vision of Jesus than if we look back at him from starting with ourselves. Now it's interesting, with a different narrative, it's not different characters. No, it's the same characters, but we're trying to see them in the story that flows from the past to the present, instead of looking at the characters from a whole set of theological arguments that go from the present back to the past. Now you start with this chapter, why? Well. If we get this wrong, you see, this even comes before our discussions of the Bible mm -hmm. because we bring an assumption about what the big story is about. If we, if we are willing to loosen up on those assumptions and let the Bible itself generate a narrative for us, I think what that will do is open up immense new territory for us. It's, it's just, I, it's, it was staggering to me as I worked on the book. I can imagine the group's already buzzing on this. <laughs> any any uh, ideas, hopes, thoughts that you'd give to us as we keep embarking on this right off? Well, I think it would be important to remember that this first question uh, is opening up space. And, and uh, people are immediately going to think, well, what about this? What about this? But I, I would hope that we could just enjoy the opened up space to begin with and see how it works out as we go along. You know, the thing is fascinating. I, I love the narrative to start with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, me and my denomination. You know, I want, I want to show how my denomination is right. And so everything really becomes about not just me as an individual, but me and my denomination or my movement or my theological system. You know?